Take two, Saturday, May 30th at 322 p.m., SpaceX and NASA will try again to launch two American astronauts to the International Space Station. Yeah, it was all systems go today until just 17 minutes before launch time. Take a look at this photo we got from the Rivard County paper, Florida Today. This shows hundreds of people leaving the A-Max Max Brewer Bridge in Titusville. This is a popular spot for watching today's launch attempt. Joy's here now, and Joy, it was uh, thrilling just to see the entire launch set up. It really was pomp and circumstance as well as some intimate moments, all now a preview for what we'll hopefully see again this weekend. And as you can see, they are getting strapped in. Veteran astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin were strapped into the capsule atop SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, ready to go here at the Kennedy Space Center when the call to cancel was made due to weather. And for clarity, we are scrubbed for today's launch attempt. It was precipitation in the flight path, and they, it did not clear until 22 minutes after the planned launch time. Giving their wives and children air hugs before the launch, astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin will now return to quarantine for safety reasons, especially amid the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID did uh, drive some changes in how we were conducting our operations and preparing for this mission. We've been tested at least twice so far, and uh, rumor has it we might be tested again before we go. Vice President Mike Pence and his wife meeting with the astronauts' families before the scheduled launch, with President Trump and his wife all ready to witness the historic liftoff. This is something the First Lady and I looked very much forward to seeing. The first couple jumping back on Air Force One once the launch was scrubbed. President Trump sending out a tweet saying thank you to NASA and SpaceX for their hard work and leadership. Look forward to being back with you on Saturday. Scores of people who traveled to the Cape to watch the launch also left all at once. Some ready to return Saturday for the second try at history. It's really just breathtaking to see them there in their suits now. And the next chance for launch is this Saturday, 3.22 p.m. And News for Jacks again will have live team coverage on the launch, including from Cape Canaveral on Channel 4 and on newsforjacks.com.